Sent drones today. I want to talk about synthesizers and why you might fail. Hi, I'm Pure Ambient Drone, and this is my channel where I talk about synthesizers from the human perspective. So if you haven't already done so, do me a favor and yourself. Hit the subscribe button, tap the bell, keep up with all of my synth adventures. I would be so lonely without you. It would be great having you along. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, Support me at patreon.com forward slash peer ambient drone. There's content over there I don't include over here. All right. Synthesizers and why you are destined to fail, or could be at least. What do I mean by that? Well, let me tell you something. There are certain things in our lives that are bad for us. Now, you can count smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol, and doing drugs as Maybe the top three next to plane in traffic on a busy highway. I don't know. But I will tell you something that's really damaging to a person's life, and that is negative input. Now, you see, one of the biggest things that I run into when I talk with people about synthesizers, and believe me, I talk with a lot of people. I see a complex. I see a inability to have confidence in themselves. You see, it's not the machine. It's not their brains. They're intelligent people. It's not their dedication. They're very dedicated, but their confidence, they have a complex. They feel that they've already failed before they even tried. Now, before you start blaming yourself, if you're one of these people that feels this way, let me tell you something. You didn't get this way all by yourself. You have plenty of help along the way. You see, wherever there's a complex, wherever there is self-doubt, wherever there is somebody there that just doesn't believe in themselves, there are quite a few other people that had a lot of help in the process towards this feeling of inadequacy. Now, as children, when we grow up, we can have an environment that is welcoming of mistakes, where mistakes are looked at as opportunities to grow, to learn, to do better, or an opportunity to punish, to condemn, to criticize. If you're one of these people who had a childhood where mistakes were not welcomed as learning experiences, as a chance to grow and to move past a situation. Instead, you were treated as a failure or just measured up as not measuring up. You could be in for a long ride in this life. If you have two children and one of them is constantly praised for the things that they have done correct and redirected for the things that they have done wrong. And then child number two is criticized, belittled, screamed at, hollered at, or worse yet, ignored because they didn't do right or they made mistakes. Or maybe they just never got praise for anything they ever did right in the first place. One of those children is going to grow up with a complex, and I bet you know that it's child number two. Now, many times when you're wanting to learn an instrument such as synthesizers, it can become very technical. And let me tell you something. If you can get through high school and you can drive a car and you can operate a lawnmower, you can figure out a synthesizer. What you really need is you need confidence to do it. That's been your problem all along. Now, let me tell you this. Lack of confidence will stop you from all sorts of things. Now, I'm going to direct this towards synthesizers because that's what this channel is about. And this is where I want to help you. But this can carry over in life as well. Lack of confidence can stop you from buying that synthesizer you want. What's the use? I can't use it anyway. I'll never make anything of myself with it. It won't bring me any money. I'll never learn it. I just do this. I'm just do that. I'm not enough this. I'm not enough that. All of these negative thoughts are going to come flooding in and stop you from getting the synthesizer you want from learning the synthesizer you already have, from using the synthesizer to make music. Yeah, all of these things are going to come about and attack you in your mind. 
Now, before you think that you are your worst enemy, and you could be right to some respect, let me leave you with this. Just think about this for a moment. Think about all the times you've been around negative people. Negative people can damper your success story. Do you think that megastars like Tom Cruise, who has an ego like this, sorry, Tom, if you're watching, do you think that megastars like them have negative people around them? That would be a crazy thought. No, I believe that megastars that have big egos, and I don't, really don't know if Tom Cruise has, has a big ego, I'm, I'm assuming, it's just my opinion, but I would assume that they would have people around them that would be saying, hey, that's great, man. You did a fantastic job. I love what you're doing. And by the way, I'm a big fan of Tom Cruise. I think so. most of his movies are pretty cool. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that you may not be able to find a whole lot of people that are going to say that everything is perfect. And you certainly don't want yes people around all the time. You really do want some constructive criticism. But what you don't want is negative input. People that are just negative. You know, the glass is half full. You know, the rain, it sucks outside because it's raining, you know. You want people that go around and says, hey, it's raining outside. We're going to get some uh, fresh fruit on the table. The farmers are going to get watered plants, you know, as they get washed down the river and out to sea. Yeah. See how I just took that great idea of rain and washed it out to sea. That's how subtle negativity can be. That's how dangerous it can be. It can creep up on you and suck the life out of your synthesis, right out of your fingertips. You get overwhelmed, you get discouraged, you get depressed, you don't want to do anything anymore. Why? Because you become a negative person. You see, you become what you indulge in. If you hang around negative people, you're going to become one yourself. You may not even realize you've done it. It may have just creeped up on you. And guess what? You become negative and you become unproductive. But wait, there's more. Because if you call this number right now, you'll not only get one video, but you'll get two videos for the price of one. Did I just say that? I did. Because you know what? There is a big weight on this. I do have a consolation prize for you. And that is, there's a way out of this. You can stop the negative input. You can stop it. You can unplug it like you do a synthesizer that's gone crazy on you. You can't get the shut up. The MIDI's gone crazy. You pull out the wire and boom, baby. The input is cut. You need to cut negative people out of your life, period. You don't owe negative people anything in your life. You don't owe them a seat. You don't owe them an audience. You owe them the front door as they walk out it. Now, I'm not saying that you need to just be rude and mean and nasty to these people. What I'm saying is you need to avoid them. Unless they're productively active in your emotional state, they don't need to be there. You need to avoid negative people like the plague because what they got will jump on you. Now, here's the thing. Just getting rid of these people is not going to stop you from having symptoms of the cold you've already caught because you're sick, okay? You're sick with negativity. What you need to do next is you need to get better, all right? So you've already stopped the onslaught of the disease attacking you, all right? You know, you had all this crap inputted into you, and now you've stopped that. Now you can get better. There's no sense in taking a remedy for what you got if you're going to keep being exposed to it. So you've already got yourself unexposed to the disease. Now you can handle the disease. You can counter it with a vaccine. You want to know what the vaccine is? The vaccine is positive input. Now, you don't need to look for people, like I said earlier, that just say yes, 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 yes. What you want to do is you want to look for people that don't go around saying negative, negative, negative. 
Find those people. And if you can't find any of those people, you know what you need to do? You need to fake it till you make it. And you need to talk to yourself. That's right. Talk to yourself like you're a loony bird, like you're crazy. But you know what? You're not. You're getting yourself better. What you're doing is you're self-medicating. What you do is you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, and you know what you say? You say, you are a fantastic synthesis. You are great at synthesizers. You're great at everything you do. People are so lucky to be around you. Who will you bless with your presence today? Ask yourself these questions. Talk to yourself like this. Always be complimenting yourself. Tell yourself the truth. Say, you know what? As good as I am at the synthesizer, today I'm going to get even better. Because there's always room to grow. There's always room for improvement. I'm great as it is. I'm perfect the way I am. But I'm going to get better. And you know what? I had a bad day yesterday, but I'm going to have a great day tomorrow. And the next day, it will get better. It won't get worse. Because I'm going to keep trying. And by keep on trying, you're going to feel better because you know what? This isn't about what you can and cannot do. This is about just plain doing it. Getting up in the morning, enjoying your synthesizers, enjoying what you're doing. And you know what? Nobody, nobody is going to tell you that you can't do it. You think that the pros out there the big names in synthesis were told by somebody they couldn't do it? No, they were encouraged. And when they weren't encouraged, they encouraged themselves. That's the only way you're going to make it. Nobody else is going to hold you up on the ladder of life for indefinite. You're going to have to be the one that holds on to the rungs of the ladder so that you don't fall because you can't always count on people to be there to hold you up. You got to learn to do it yourself, but you also have to get rid of the people that are trying to kick the ladder out from underneath you. And when you learn to do that, You'll get better at everything, Synthesizer. You'll get better at your job. You'll get better at your friends. You'll get better at your life. You will get better with your family. But you got to start somewhere. And the first place to start is to get rid of the negativity. So let me tell you the one person that you have to get rid of first and foremost in your life, and that's you. If you're negative, you need to kick that person out. And go back to what I was saying. You have to be positive. You have to say positive things. And let me give you one hint. Stop cursing. If you are a person who uses curse words, quit it. Make a practice of not cursing. When you find a curse coming out of your mouth, Stop it, because I'm going to tell you something. Your ears hear this negativity, and curse words are really powerful words. And it feeds negativity, not just back into you, but back into the people around you as well. You will start sucking the energy out of the room that you're in. You may not think it. You may look around and say, you know what? Everybody cusses, man. Everybody talks like that. No, they don't. I don't, and the people around me don't. You know why? Because we've learned that what you speak makes a big, big impact in not only your life, but the lives around you. So if I can just give you that a bit of advice, that's what I would tell you to do is to speak more positive words and eliminate the cursing. Try it. It's going to be hard. It's, I'm telling you what, you didn't get this way overnight. And if you think that you're going to deprogram all of that negativity in a week or a month or even a year, you're really kidding yourself. This is a lifelong practice, but you will feel better. And as you feel better, guess what? You will do better. That's my advice for today. I hope it's helped you. And if it has, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. And be sure to watch one of these videos that's going to be popping up here pretty soon. And please support me over at patreon.com forward slash pure ambient drone. You know the links are going to be in the description in the comment below. I love all of you guys and I hope this helps you. I hope this channel is helping you. Please leave a comment below. Talk with me. I, I, I love your guys' comments. You guys are some of the smartest, heartfelt people that I've ever come across. You guys are so awesome. Until next time, I am Periambient Drone. Keep calm and synth on.